All right, when I came to the Kimberley a year ago, when we came to the Kimberley a year ago, I filmed my first Kimberley episode, which was a catch and cook. We hadn't even moved into our house. We did mud crab. It's been a year. I've learned a lot. I've seen a lot. Just after we moved, I did a little video with, with Woz from Salty Sessions and um, didn't go to plan. Uh, I got I basically made a pretty crap video. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pretty brutal trip. Um, and um, so I wanted to finish it off properly with another catch and cook with the things I've learnt. And this time we actually, well, you'll find out. I'm gonna roll on what we did earlier today. All right, we're off. We got Dingaling on tow. We'll introduce you to Dingaling soon. We got Wooza here. Nice job, mate. Oh, sick. thanks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to the boat ramp, try to catch some crabs. And maybe some mud crabs as well. Mate, there's killer out there. Look at that. That is. That's mint. All right, this is Dingaling. Dingaling. Dingaling has an 18 horsepower Tahatsu uh, and a hole. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> we, um, we brought a bailer because safety first. I also brought my PLB. <laughs> uh. <laughs> because even though we're going just over there, yeah. <laughs> Anything could happen. Anything could happen. This is literally it. We're literally taking out a sinking boat. <laughs> <laughs> That's if we can get this buddy thing off. We got, we're doing well. Dad reckons there's nothing better than the sound of a two strike at full throttle. Later. Oh my! Hey, little brownie boy. That is in the esky, that one. It's a measuring stick. Oh, you are one less than one metric colonial. <laughs> healthy crab. Very healthy crab. Whee! Don't go down there, mate. <laughs> He's gone right under. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <you're ridiculous. laughs> Good mud crab wrestling. <laughs> it's alright, I don't bite or anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Harmless. <laughs> Good for kids to play with. Give them your dog to play with. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you can watch the rest of this video on the Salty Sessions channel. It's gonna be a lot longer, obviously. It's gonna have all the bits. It was really good fun, really funny, actually. Um, uh, great video. Go and check it out on their channel. Well, not right now. Right now, you need to finish doing, watching this video. Then you can go watch it. We're gonna get back to cooking. Oh, I hope you don't mind me snooping your car. No, I'm mate. just frothing over everything I see. Go for it. Look around. <laughs> all right, better get my table out. Now something you will notice in this is I actually broke my um, water tank. It's got a crack in it. So, so look, I've spoken to Kay on, they're really good about it. They were basically like, look, shouldn't have happened. You know, there's an issue with it, obviously. So they're gonna warranty it, we'll get it fixed up. And they're also, they've got, I've sent them a whole bunch of photos. They're gonna actually update the design as a result because they wanna make sure that this doesn't happen again. So like, yeah, really good result. But at the moment, I'm on jerry cans. But because I got twin pumps in this, my jerry can is still through a hose. So it's still not exactly pleb life. It's just a new hose thing, I haven't tried this one before. Oh, it works well. That is cool, man. 
It's good, isn't it? Red. <laughs> Yes, tables outside get dirty. Where does that live? Up there. What, the hose? No, table. Oh, yeah, it goes under the roof rack. Jesus. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? That's cool. <laughs> You know those bags we were using on the boat earlier today? These are like the big dogs. Well, these are the half size. I've got double the size of that as well. They're sick. They're so nice. So good for boating. Are they waterproof? Yep. Yeah? Yep. Like, you wouldn't put them underwater, but yeah. they're, yeah, you could leave like a camera in there or something and take them on the boat. All right. I reckon we better get to cleaning these mud crabs, eh? So, oh no, there's so much mud crab juice in the bottom of my fridge. <laughs> uh, so, so it's, it's actually got a little bung and a, like a, an exit thing. Yeah, right. So I might um, give it a quick rinse. Oh, we got gym now. We got two one claws, eh? We got two one claws. Yeah, let's get a bucket. Um, we should get some seawater or something, eh? Yeah, I'll go for water. Do you reckon you go? Yeah, sick, man, thanks. Okay, well, while Wolves is doing that, I might as well prep everything else. So. Okay, so there's actually a bit of a shortage of ingredients, there's some certain ingredients in broom at the moment, which is a bit of a pain. Um, so there was no ginger, there was no fresh lemongrass, and I couldn't even get fresh garlic. So we're actually kind of slim pickings today. Um, so I've had to buy a lot of things in tubes pre-done just because it's sort of the, the next best option. They're, the tubes are pretty good, but they're not as good as the best. So anyway, the tubes are actually a good option for camping a lot of the time. Uh, if, you're, if you're poor on space and um, that sort of stuff, it's pretty useful to have uh, that the equivalent of a few bulbs of garlic in a tube ready to go and just just if you're in a rush a lot of people are so I'm just gonna dice up probably two onions oh mate your dog's a menace is he? Did he jump on you? Yeah. <laughs> he is so big. <laughs> yeah, he's a bit like that. <laughs> I put the bucket down and I went back out in the water and then turned around and he just knocked the bucket over. Oh no! <laughs> he's a funny bugger. Alright, should we get on to cleaning these? Yeah, yeah. So. i really on that. Huh, I'll move my camera a bit. So, now last time, my last mud crab video, I got a lot of shit for the way I cleaned my mud crab, and it was fair. Uh, we won't talk about that. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> so, I've learned how to do it properly, and I'm gonna do that now. Well, I'm gonna try anyway. <laughs> Get off. Off. <laughs> <laughs> right. These are the parts you don't want to eat, eh? Yeah. There you go. So, basically, just do that in half, half. And then when you get the claws, I'll pull that bit more of that shit out. Um, when you get to the claws, you just crack them because you want this flavour to infuse. And they go in like that. They're full crabs, eh? 
Oh, they are, mate. They're oh. so full. They're some big claws. Yeah, they're good, man. It's a good feed. Now, if you're wondering what's going to happen to all this rubbish and this fire and stuff, the tide will be up in about two hours and it'll all be gone. Something will have a very good feed. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Ha! Oh. <laughs> so good, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Three tins of crushed tomatoes. A little bit of water. Then you will have probably like three tablespoons of oyster sauce. You're gonna have that much oyster sauce because it's how much I have. A little bit of soy sauce. By the way, these little Cedar Summit refillable things, they're like really well sealed because I find that the you know the bottles and stuff from supermarkets like the lids eventually give way and they're not that well sealed. They, they're designed to sit up right in the cupboard. Yeah. These are actual travel bottles. So they're like three bucks. They're wicked. Uh, Red Roads, uh, sorry, Go Camping sells them in Balcata. Uh, I think they're the only place in, that sells them at all. Anyway, I love them. Bit of soy, that much soy. Recipe down below, obviously. What else have we got in here? Oh, Bloody hell. <laughs> okay, now, all my fresh stuff. Love these little bags. Just keeps them separate from all your drinks and whatever. Do you like chilli? I'm a bit of a softie when it comes to chilli, but... Well, tough I shit. tolerate it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to chilli mod trap, you got to have chilli. Yeah, there's going to be chilli in it, but yeah. I won't put tons in. <laughs> so, I'm going to have a bit of lemongrass. So... Actually, no, that's not true. I'm gonna have a lot of lemongrass because lemongrass <laughs> goes really tube. well. It's like half a tube of lemongrass. I'll figure out what that is in like real terms, but a lot. Bit of garlic. Uh, probably like six cloves kind of thing. Five or six cloves crushed. And then I'd have like, um, Probably an inch and a half of ginger grated, so. That much? Maybe that much? I don't know. I'm gonna taste it later and see how it goes. And of course some chilies. These aren't actually very hot. Okay, let's have a look, see how this is going. So, what is that? Oh, my fridge isn't close. <laughs> Chili mud crap everywhere. I mean, when Fred knocked it, he knocked it on the piss, eh? Oh well. Can we level it out? Yeah, it'd be good. Sorry about the crooked thing, that was my dog. Okay, so it's kind of a one-pot wonder. Now, the other thing we need to do is rice. So, Slippery, eh? Alright, so two cups of rice. Or two whatevers of rice. You can use your hat if you want, as long as it's the same thing. It's 
twice for rice and water. So. Two to one ratio, roughly. Then we better get that so it's actually useful for cooking. Get the new br the grid. We are nearly ready to set up a chair and drink some beers. Because we haven't drunk any beers today. But nearly enough. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Rice on. I'll probably give that rice a five minute head start on the... Oh. No, bugger. This can go for as long as it wants, really. Let's chuck it on. So we'll keep an eye on that. We want that rice to boil up and obviously all the liquid to go away. We want this to steam, all the mud crabs to turn bright orange, and then that's basically it. Just serve it all up. I'm gonna clean up over here, put out the chair and have a beer. Oh shit, that's a bit fancy. <laughs> oh, I've been outclassed. <laughs> <laughs> I've had it for a long time, eh? <laughs> See, you ran one over the other day. <laughs> so stupid. I just finished filming that, like, thing about my car failing. It's just sitting in front of the car, and yeah, just still sitting there when I drove off. <laughs> pack everything else away, pack the camera away, pack the mic away, pack everything else. Like, yep, all good, sweet. Yep, I think I'm pretty sure everything's in the car. Can't see anything, looking over the bonnet. Yep. <laughs> Off she goes. Now it's it's alright, Helenox chairs are cheap. <laughs> it must be comfy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hold on. I'm sitting on my microphone. <laughs> See if I can figure this thing out, eh? Wizard just tried my chair and all of his sentimentality went out the window. <laughs> he was like, oh, my chair. <laughs> I love this thing, I've had it for years. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you got a spare one, huh? <laughs> that one's a slightly smaller size, but it's still bloody good. You can literally like wave it around and it'll just assemble itself. Actually. Like this is like... That's how I got taught by a Helinox person to put it together. Like a it's full like drive it, yeah. show. Yeah. It was like at a trade show thing and he was like, watch this. And it worked. I is that like, it? That that's way? it. Doesn't look like it would support me. Nah. <laughs> so then you slide the top on. That's the right way. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yep. Now the trick is, sit in it as soon as you've set it up. So it doesn't fly? Yeah, so see I've got these indents, like digs into the ground a bit. Oh, yeah. Otherwise it will fall in the fire. Because they're so light. <clears throat> Pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> that's not bad. So that's like the lightweight, smaller one. How can it be so comfy? It's so small. <laughs> A few more tins later. <clears throat> All right, it's been about, I don't know, probably 45 minutes or something because basically the wind was blowing a gale underneath. The fire wasn't quite hot enough under the crab, but now that crab is all orange. Our rice is cooked and I reckon, oh, I'm gonna get my gloves actually. You may have noticed in the last few episodes I haven't been using my gloves. I couldn't find them. They're in my shed. I found them. Okay, I'll go get stuff to serve up, I reckon.
Now, a bit of the devil, devil's lettuce, or chopped green soap, as some people know it, if you have crap jeans. Uh, yeah. But I know a lot of people I like <laughs> who hate coriander. It is a gene, there's nothing you can do about it. But I love coriander. Everyone here likes coriander, so that. Coriander? Do you hate coriander? I hate coriander. <laughs> now you tell me. Are you actually hate coriander? Oh, I hate coriander. Yeah, it's a gene. It tastes like soap. Yeah, that's what I just said. It's chopped green soap. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Alright, I'll try and give you some without. In chili mud crab, it's actually not too bad. Alright, I'm gonna I put it all over one side anyway by accident. So let's give you a bit, because you're gonna have a taste of mate. Come over here. Oh shit, the bed that's hot. Okay, come on. Don't be shy. Yeah, gloves, again. <laughs> the things that I recommend that are like the number one most friggin' useful thing for fire cooking, and I never friggin' use. I was like, nah, I'll be right. Holy dooly. Okay. Looks good, man. Couple of claws. All right, just get into a bit of that, and we'll see how you go. Go on here. Ooh, it's hot. Cat, how are you with coriander? I oh, love coriander. good. I love I dipping it in the sauce. <laughs> oh, good, that's, that's good. good. That's good. I'm happy with that. Oh. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever actually said that on video. Really? That's really good. <laughs> I'm amazed it took this long, but... I thought it would have been like, oh, again. No, usually people are like, you're a dickhead, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> You've outdone yourself, mate. Oh, that's good. Still tastes like mine crab. Which is important because it's easy to overpower these kinds of things. Mm. A bit of Kimberly lollipop. Oh, mate. Well, sorry, girls, there's none left. Um, <laughs> we're going to be here till tomorrow eating my crab and drinking beers. So, oh, oh. <laughs> so good. I want to thank everyone. You've been watching for the last year. My channel has tripled in size. I've been able to move to an amazing, amazing place and have an amazing time. And I couldn't have done it with all this, without all the support from you guys. So thank you so much for your support throughout the Kimberley. Um, don't worry, me moving back to Perth is not going to change the channel. It's going to be in a different location with the same sort of stuff. It's still going to be fun. It's still going to be adventuring. I'm not just going to sit in my backyard and do bugger all. And I'm not going to, you know, do stuff, too, do too much stuff in Perth. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in Perth. Well, southwest. <laughs> Somewhere. Oh, where's my beer? No, 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 cheers. Here we go. <laughs> cheers, mate. Cheers. And cheers. <laughs> oh. All right, let's get into this, man. That is some good mud crab. <laughs> he was like, man. She has been wanting to come down for a good mud crab feed for so long. Because every time he goes, he goes with the boys and then it becomes a boys cooker. Yeah. Mm. Like we do all the work, we eat all the food. So do, why can't you just bring no, one crab home yeah. for me? This is incredible, Harry. Yeah, this is amazing. Am I still rolling? I hope so. Thank you, Ava. Good.